because as I'm sh- hearing you share and it's been the depth of it is profound if I can say so Don um one of the interesting pieces I'm realizing is even the foul achievement piece I it's it's not just limited to children because what's happened is I'm I'm have I had the visceral realization about 10 minutes ago in our conversation when you were sharing that even the birth of the inspired evolution and me interviewing individuals such as yourself has been my relearning attempt to try and learn the things that I really want to learn and cultivate that joy of learning once again exactly. to actually develop competency in the places where I'm intrinsically motivated from yes, rather yes. than having played into that space for so long with academic success without really intrinsically being motivated to those things, but just externally being motivated. Right. Um, right. Yeah. I'm just re- like, I think that's an easy example to give the audience. And it was just very poetic that we're in that podcast while I'm having that realization about the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and in a way, understanding those schools that operate so differently is, is what if you were a kid and had an mm. inclination and then simply used the tools of the society a podcast or a, you know mm. the the computer to then pursue that mm. like what if that was just how how it worked well that is how it works when you give kids that freedom that autonomy um, they they will they will find ways and and one of the the ways that the adults operate in those spaces is their job is to discover ways to support the kids mm-hmm. in conversation with the kids not imposing something like oh you should learn this it's oh, you want to learn that, oh, I know somebody who has that skill, or I know there's, a, there's an online course, or there's a local community college that offers that, or there's, uh, you know, there's a gazillion ways that it could happen. Mm-hmm. But it's really tuning in and figuring out, okay, who, who, how, how, do we, how do we move forward with this? Now, one of the things I did for, I, I taught psychology for a year at uh, Village Free School. Uh, this is a little while after I did my research, but, um, but you know, the 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 kids were anywhere from 10 years old to about 17 and so mm-hmm. i had a very wide age range um and it was just because you know i said hey i they they at the beginning of the year they said hey we you know we're kind of interested and i said hey i could teach that <laughs> um, mm. and it was supposed to just be one semester but then it like bloomed into this whole thing and they just wanted to keep going so we went for a whole year mm-hmm. Um, but it was just about you know i was learning because i i have very little formal instructional Training. Mm. I, I have no formal instructional training. I've mm. just been figuring it out on my own. But it was like really fun. It was engaging for me because I was figuring out how to teach stuff, and they were just soaking it up, and we had a great time um, mm. doing some interesting things. But that was what it was. Was we came together and learned together. I had a lot mm. to teach them in some sense, but it was also this dialogue about oh, how do we engage with this? How do we do this? And what should we do? And what would be really fun as a way to learn it. And, and they so, were teaching yeah. you <laughs> in that way Absolutely. as well.